In this tutorial, we will deal with timelines. Timelines are concurrent animations within one scene. We've already created a boy that throws a ball in the air, then catches it. And we want to have a second animation following this scene. Every project has a main timeline by default. To create a new timeline, click on the main timeline and choose Add Timeline. The new timeline will appear on our list. Double click the new timeline to access it. Drag the image of a sun on the new timeline stage, then animate it with a 360 degree image rotation effect. We set the rotation time to 10 seconds. Now take a look at the preview. You will see the boy and the sun, but the sun isn't animated. That's because you need to tell Web Animator when to start the new timeline animation. Switch back to our main timeline, then look into the scene properties, events and choose the on scene load option. Pick the load timeline action and set the timeline target to 1. When you have a look at the scene, you will see how our second timeline is loaded and the sun is rotating. Timelines are a perfect mechanism when you want to create action-based events. You can start a timeline, for example, by clicking on a button or image.